We're counting down the 10 proven weekly habits that can add years and up to 300,000 miles to your electric vehicle battery life. From the smartest charging routines to the science-backed dangers that could quietly ruin your range, each tip is ranked by real-world impact and expert research. Some are common sense, but a few, especially number 7, could save you thousands. Let's kick off the countdown with the number 10 battery habit every electric vehicle owner should master. Start every week with a simple rule. Keep your battery charge between 20% and 80%. This mid-range is where lithium-ion cells are happiest, avoiding the voltage stress that comes from running too low or topping off too high. Real-world data from Recurrent Auto's fleet shows that electric vehicles living in this sweet spot lose about 1-2% less capacity each year compared to cars that bounce between empty and full. It takes less than a minute to set your charge limit in the car's upper control panel. Just slide the bar to 80% and forget it. That is one habit that pays off for years. DC fast charging feels like magic on a road trip, but using it for daily top-ups is a fast track to battery wear. When you pump in power at high speed, the battery heats up and faces a surge of current, conditions that increase the risk of lithium plating and permanent damage inside the cells. The Idaho National Laboratory ran a 2022 study showing that vehicles fast charge repeatedly lost more capacity than those mostly charged on level 2 AC chargers. It is a small difference at first, but it adds up. Make home charging your routine and save DC fast charging for real travel days. Once a week, check your charging habits in your car's app. If you have used DC fast charging more than once or twice, swap to level 2 for your next charge. That simple audit keeps your battery healthier for the long haul. Dropping your battery below 20% isn't just risky. It can cause real permanent harm inside your pack. Deep discharges force the battery's internal parts to stretch and contract, leading to microscopic cracks and even copper dissolving from the electrodes. That raises internal resistance, which means your battery will heat up more and lose capacity faster the next time you drive or charge. Experts at Battery University warn that going below 10%, even occasionally, accelerates this kind of damage. The best habit, treat 20% as your red line. Plug in before you hit it. If you arrive home low, top up right away instead of letting your car sit nearly empty. Here is the one exception to the 80% rule that can actually save you from losing range you paid for, especially if you drive a Tesla with an LFP battery. LFP packs are different because their voltage barely changes across most of the charge, which means the car's battery management system can lose track of the true state of charge over time. That is why Tesla's manual says to charge to 100% at least once a week. It is not about battery health. It is about keeping your range estimate accurate and letting the system balance all the cells. The chemistry is robust enough to handle a full charge, but you still want to avoid letting the car sit at 100% for hours on end. The smart move, use the departure timer in your app, schedule your charge to finish just before you leave. That way you get a calibrated battery in every mile of range without the stress of sitting full and hot. Heat is the silent killer of every EV battery. Lab studies show that for every 10 degrees Celsius, about 18 degrees Fahrenheit, above room temperature, the rate of battery aging can double. That is not just theory, real-world fleet data backs it up. Parking in direct sun or in a hot garage bakes your battery, accelerating chemical reactions that eat away at its capacity. Even a few hours a day in the shade or in a garage can make a measurable difference over the years. Experts recommend simple habits. Pick a shaded spot, use a garage when you can, or crack the windows on scorching days to keep cabin temperatures down. It's a small change, but it slows down the clock on your battery's chemistry. Shade isn't just about comfort, it's about keeping your battery younger, longer. 
Warming up your electric vehicle before you drive is not just about comfort, it is a secret weapon for battery health and efficiency. Most electric cars let you precondition the battery and cabin while still plugged in, using grid power instead of draining the pack. Use the precondition or climate option in your app and your car's thermal system will bring the battery up to its ideal range, usually from 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. That means when you hit the road, the pack is already in its happy zone, ready to deliver power without extra strain. In cold weather, this simple step can boost your efficiency by 10 to 20 percent on the first leg, according to manufacturer tests and independent studies. Preconditioning while plugged in is one of the easiest ways to cut down on cold start stress and save energy, all before you even leave the driveway. Every time you stop on the accelerator or slam the brakes, your battery feels it literally. High current bursts from hard launches and sudden stops create intense heat inside the cells because a simple law governs this. The power lost as heat increases with the square of the current. That means doubling the current does not just double the heat, it quadruples it. Over time, those spikes raise internal resistance, speed up chemical wear, and chip away at your battery's lifespan. Studies from places like Carnegie Mellon show that smoother driving with steady acceleration and gentle braking actually stretches out your battery's usable life. And there is another bonus. Driving efficiently cuts your energy use per mile, saving you money every single week. Switching on eco mode and easing into traffic is not just good for the planet, it is the easiest way to keep your battery and your wallet healthy for the long haul. Every time you ease off the accelerator and let regenerative braking do its thing, you are not just saving brake pads, you are giving your battery a little boost the gentle way. Instead of wasting all that energy as heat and the friction breaks, regenerative braking captures it and feeds it back to your battery at a moderate controlled rate. This is not just about squeezing out a few extra miles. By recapturing energy steadily, you reduce how deeply your battery dips and climbs with every drive. That means shallower charge and discharge cycles, which science shows can stretch out your battery's usable life by years. High region or one pedal driving modes make this effortless. Just lift your foot and your car slows smoothly while topping up the pack. The bonus is you will find yourself using the mechanical brakes less, which cuts down on wear and keeps more energy in the system. So crank up your regenerative settings and let your car do the smart work. Your battery and your wallet will thank you. If you are planning to leave your electric vehicle parked for more than a week, maybe for a vacation or during a season when you drive less, don't just plug it in and walk away. The safest move for your battery is to set the charge to about 50 or 60% before you park. This is not a guess, it is straight from the manufacturer playbook. Ford, for example, tells owners to keep their electric vehicle battery at roughly 50% state of charge if the car will be stored for more than a month. Battery service companies and industry guides echo this advice, pointing to 40-60% to as the sweet spot. Why? Because lithium-ion batteries age slowest when they are sitting at mid-charge, not full, and not empty. High charge plus heat speeds up chemical reactions that eat away at capacity while parking nearly empty risks deep discharge from small drains over time. Before a long layup, top up to 50%, park somewhere cool if you can and check your manual for any storage mode settings. That is the closest thing to a battery time capsule. Every modern electric car relies on a hidden brain, the battery management system spelled B-M-S. This software decides exactly how your battery charges, cools, and protects itself, right down to the millisecond. Automakers constantly refine these algorithms based on real-world data from thousands of cars. Sometimes a simple software update can change how quickly your car accepts power when it starts to cool the pack, or even how it estimates remaining range. In 2023, Ford rolled out an over-the-air update for the F-150 Lightning that tweaked the charging curve and improved thermal triggers. The goal was smoother fast charging and less stress on the cells, especially during high power sessions. 
These updates do not just add flashy new features, they quietly install smarter safety margins and more protective routines for your battery, all without a trip to the dealer. Skipping updates means missing out on the latest tricks your engineers have learned to keep your pack healthy. Make it a weekly habit, check for new software updates in your app or your car's settings, and install them as soon as they are available. One tap keeps your battery's brain sharp and every other good habit you have built working at its best. Across all 10 tips, one truth stands out. Battery longevity isn't luck, it's habit. Small, consistent routines have the power to add years and hundreds of thousands of miles to your EV. In the world of electric cars, smart habits are the real superpower. Share your favorite tip below.